Alrighty, good afternoon, morning, whatever, ladies and gentlemen. This is Harry Muppet, and we're just gonna have a nice short episode, I think, because I'm kind of, I'm kind of like this is my sixth episode again that I've done today, and I did six yesterday, and this is like my sixth today, and it's kind of like, ugh, I'm playing this game too much. It's still less amount of time that I would play it before I started doing YouTube for it, but still, I think it's enough. But we got advanced oil processing done and I absolutely want to make sure whoops, that um, all of this is working correctly and this is all, you know, it's going good. Heavy oil to light oil cracking. So put that through and then this is light oil to petroleum cracking. Alrighty, so everything is working good. The water is going in the right point and so is all of the oils. And now we are going to switch these guys over to be this. I'm always running out of something, aren't I? Oh, come on. No, that's, you've got to get something that actually goes in something to be able to get something. Look at all these pipes I got. I should not be right clicking on anything anymore to, uh, to bloody get stuff out. Okay, you are no longer doing that. You are now doing, I don't want, Crude oil processing, because that gives you a ton of heavy oil. Maybe that's for some uh, something fancy, but anyway. Beautiful. The water is in the right spot. Okay, and then we go for our pump. And then we get the power pole over here. And suddenly this guy is going nuts, and that will be a lot better ratio for us. Uh, Do that. I don't know what will happen if I hook water up to the oil slot while these guys are still doing the old recipe. So I'm probably not going to do it. Let's just change that to be advanced oil processing. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And that water pump should be more than enough for these guys. They use like 50 water every five seconds or something. Yeah, so 2,000 water a second, it's, it's more than enough, it's more than enough. And at this point, the crude oil is pretty full, 23.3K, 23.2K, is that gonna get down to 23.1? It is, so we could probably put some more refineries on here, but 10 is enough, I think, for now, 10 is enough. And let's have a look at how this cracking is going, so, 21.6, 21.5, yeah, five of these is more than enough for the heavy oil. It's the light oil I'm worried about, because that's going up. It's sort of, it's wavering. It's 21, 21.9, 22, 22.1, yeah, so that is going to be a bit of a problem. Now, as I said, if we go further out, we have to start worrying about pipe throughput. But I think I am going to have to go out. If I remember correctly, you need seven of these for each five of these. So we got ten. So for a correct ratio, we need. Well, let's let's do the math. We haven't done any math in a while. So this produces forty-five every five seconds. So that's nine per second. So we got a total of yeah you know, ninety per second coming out of all ten of these. Now, if we have a look at Kraken. Let's get cracking on this mass. Um, oh, we also, shit, we need to do more advanced math because we've got to take into account this 10. So we've got 100. So just remember that. Um, 90 per second coming out of all of those. I'm going to write that down. Uh, write that down. Make sure the game doesn't alt tab on me and stuff. Okay. 90 light oil per second is how much we're getting out of this thing. Um, that's cool. So now we need to look at the heavy oil. So heavy oil is two per second per machine. So that's 20 per, uh, 20 per second total. Now we have a look here. If we're outputting 20 per second, we've got a whole bunch of these machines. So we're basically converting 20 heavy oil per second down to 15 light oil per second because it's a 30 to 40 ratio. So we've got 15. Add that 15 to 90 is 405. 
So we've got 105 light oil per second that we need to be taken care of. Now, if we have a look here, this guy takes into account 30 light oil and every three seconds. So that's 10 light oil a second. Uh, do we have to worry about crafting speed? This has a crafting speed of one. This has a crafting speed of 1.25. So maybe we're already taking care of it. That doesn't make any sense because we've got 105 per second and this guy takes care of 10 per second, uh, but the crafting speed is a bit higher. Uh, I could have sworn there's supposed to be a ratio for this crap, which is for every five refineries, you need one heavy oil cracker and seven light oil cracker. And I've been using that for a long time and it seems to work, but this is confusing me because this has gone up to 23.8 23.9 it's a lot um oh let me have a look there's a, a refinery overview yeah for every five advanced you need seven crackers i do not understand my own maths i really really don't i'm going to assume i made a mistake there and we're going to up these because the the facts say otherwise this light oil is not going down it is going up it is going up so if you think about it 45 per five seconds and this takes in 30 per three seconds a little bit faster but you need a little bit extra because of the light oil coming down so we are going to up this to another four because that's the exact ratio that somebody who's obviously a lot smarter than me has figured out so we are just going to be copying their ratio which is of course uh, for 10 of these we need 14 of these and yes i think for 14 going up here uh, 14 machines i think we should be right on the pipe length uh not have to worry about that too much whoa that's not what i meant to do get rid of that one get rid of that one put lights in there instead all right so now we got these guys extra four machines and now we see light oil 23.6, 23.5, 23 23.6, 23.5. It just dumped down to 23.4 for a second. Five, four, going down to four a bit more now. Going up to five, going down to a bit four. The C of three, let's see 23.3. Yes, 23.3, beautiful. Okay, it's not going down nearly as fast as it should because... Um, we've actually got so much heavy oil um, being chopped down by these guys. So that's probably what it was actually. Maybe 10 was enough and maybe my mass was correct. But the reason these light oil was going up so fast was because we had such a massive backlog of heavy oil and we had five machines instead of one cracking. So there was really flooding the system with all this extra light oil. But once all the heavy oil runs out, the light oil supplies are not going to be so high they're going to start to drop really really fast as well and we're going to end up with just pure petroleum and yes for all your factorio experts i do need lubricant but i'm not going to make it like this i think i'm going to completely separate it uh there was a recipe in here somewhere i think it's a bob's recipe that i want to use which is i can't see it now I could see it before it was in there advanced heavy oil there we go heavy oil comes out of coal and water I'm gonna do that I don't know how to do that there we go chemical plant coal and water so maybe we can fix that up because we got some time and we've already got a massive coal supply down here so we can do some lubricant over here I think two, three machines and two, three, because I'm pretty sure lubricant just needs heavy oil and nothing else. How's our ratio looking? So this produces 12 every two and a half second. This requires 10 every one second. So we, oh, why Bob, why would you do that to me? 12 every two and a half seconds. So that's, 24 divided by 5 which is 4.8 per second why why would you do that to me 
4.8 heavy oil every second. And this guy shoots up 10 per second. So I'm not going to work out an exact ratio because I'm not a masochist. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 2 to 1. And we'll just pretend that the 4.8 is actually a 5. Because that is awesome. So then we move that down there. We get a heavy. We get a tank there. And we just need coal here. And this guy needs water as well, but that should be fine. Uh... So we are actually doing a bit more than I expected in this episode. I thought it was going to be a short one, but yeah, getting lubricant up and running is not a bad idea at all. And then it really, really is nice to be able to completely separate, separate lubricant production from heavy oil production because anybody who's ever played vanilla knows that. Yeah, those guys are a bit of a pain in the ass. You are... Uh, you can build circuits and stuff to only crack heavy oil into light oil whenever, you, uh, whenever you're whenever you full on lubricant. And usually that does the trick, but when you start to get into train networks and transporting stuff and making crap loads of everything, it's like you don't want a train outpost that makes like plastic and heavy oil and lubricant or something like that. And then having to balance those things together it's just not it's not fun i like to have a train outpost for a, a single product and that's it and that's the only thing it ever makes and that just makes life a lot easier for me uh go down there lights we always forget the freaking lights okay get the lights there and get some lights here and get some lights there. Light, we need so many lights here just to make this beautiful. Alrighty, so you need coal and you need water. You've got the water. Now you just need the coal. There we go, beautiful. And now we got the lubricant. So we're gonna fill this up with lubricant and then we are gonna pipe it down to engines and whatever else we need. I think purple science starts to need electric engines, so that'll be the case. But yeah, this is going to be a big thing for robots anyway. So is there anything else that's easy that we can do this episode? Because it's only been 12 minutes and I wanted it to be short, but maybe we can do something else. So let's just plan this out. So circuit boards, ferric chloride, we'll, we need iron ore. For that and the rest is just water so that's beautiful phenolic boards is wood so this we can make on the bus right now easy as electronic circuit boards the basic electronic components and the solder we've already got on the bus transistors need tinned copper wire we can make that on the bus plastic bars are on the bus silicon wafer uh silicon wafer that's right it's the bloody silicon plate Calcium chloride is stone, which is on the bus, and hydrogen chloride, which we can make anywhere. And quartz, quartz, quartz is the missing thing. Let's make this episode all about quartz. Uh, oh, we got quartz over there. I did it, it's because I put the level two radar down. It started to uh, see more of the area. So we got quartz, we got 107K there. All right, let's make that the rest of that episode. Going down, and collecting that quartz and putting that on the bus. It's, I really don't wanna have silicon ore on the bus, but I really don't have a choice. It's like, well, what else am I gonna do here? What else am I gonna do? This, by the way, is the reason why we're building everything on the top, because you want the bottom to be fully expandable. You, we might have belts going all the way down to this oil eventually because of all these crappy little bobs things. This belt array is already bigger than a vanilla game would need, even at the end of the game. But, yeah. What is this tin? Let's get rid of all these logs. I love this upgrade planner. I love it. I know it's arguably the most cheating mod I have, except maybe nuclear robots. They're pretty cheaty as well, but, yeah. Silicon, so we will use this need to smelt this for glass as well so we might take this over to the smelting area first 
uh, just to give it the uh, ability to smelt glass. But for now, we should have got power down here while we were running, shouldn't we? Oh, I always forget these things. Come on. We're just going to need to bring the belts back up, so we don't really need like multiple trips. Uh, that'll be good enough. We can figure that power out when we get up there later on. Yoink. Goodbye trees. We don't have biter, so we don't have to worry about pollution. Uh, if you are new to Factorio, trees actually stop pollution from spreading, but since we've got no biters, we don't have to worry. And you know what? Since we are actually not got infinite ore, we're going to position these drills so that they actually chew up the entire thing. So we don't come down here after like 20 more episodes and find that, oh, we've chewed up most of it, but hang on, there's this little speck in the corner that's just annoying. Ah, uh, we need more drills. At least I know if I run out of resources, I can always just go back and radar my way into some more drills if we need to. So there we go. So that'll cover all of that ore. That'll cover all of that ore. Uh, get some power poles. Power pole, power pole, power pole, power poles. Okay, and I think one belt is gonna be more than enough, so. Belt, why, why, why? And now of course my inventory is full because either you have not enough or you have way too much of something. T, well, so we finished the ore research. Let's just start researching all this other stuff. Uh, pump jacks, what do we need? I don't really know what we need. Electrolyzer Mark II, water bore. I don't know what this is. Aluminium processing. Aluminum, aluminum if you're American, which I'm not, so I'm not going to worry about it. Gates, cobalt. Is there anything super special that we need to worry about? We'll get some stack inserters. They look fun, like fun. Go around the stone, because we don't want to screw that over if we don't have to. And I'm probably going to build this, whatever smelting array I need for glass underneath the uranium because we don't want to screw over the uranium so what I'm going to do is I'm going to curve this around like that go underneath it and we can build a smelting array down here for glass if we need it but for now oh let's get that so that goes there that goes there and that goes there do we have power going all the way down this is way out of radar range ah oh, I'm gonna to have to go down there to put a radar down aren't I uh, I'll do that outside the video. I don't want to do that in the video. Damn you rocks. Damn you. Almost feels like we're in the middle of a uh, middle of nowhere at the moment. In the middle of a godforsaken desert. But we are actually very, very close to a massive factory. And we have built it all by ourselves. So that makes me very happy. Don't need the things there. Come on. It's going to take like three days for me to upload all these videos. It's absolutely nuts. All right, batteries. We have batteries here. Are we going to try and group these things in any sort of cohesive order? I think not. We are just going to put these guys with the batteries. Uh, I've kind of been trying to group things like having all of this crap on the same belt and having all of the ore on the same belt, but I'm starting to not care so much and I'm really starting to hope for the day when we uh, when we have robots and the robots can just do everything because a well thought out bus can make a beautiful base if you're playing vanilla but there's no such thing as a well thought out bus in Bob's Mods because there's just too many things you have to get and they're all crappy. Okay, so the power's working. I can see the silicon glass, whatever it is, coming up there. Let's put a radar down there anyway, just so we don't have to wander. Oh, come on, come on. We'll put it right down in the ore deposit because I think that's the best place for it. Ah, my keyboard is broken. I hold on a button for too long sometimes and 
that's what it does. So this will do a nice scan of the area as well, see if we can find anything else interesting. We got this quartz silicon as well set up. And I think that's it. We're going to make this a short episode. And we've got everything on the bus. Oh, God damn it, Radar. Why do you do this to me? Why do you do this to me? We're just going to put crap loads of radars everywhere. Yeah, we put a radar here. It'll cover up that little gap. That's beautiful. So before I sign off, we're going to go through our checklist and we're going to make sure visually that everything is on the bus that we need for electronic circuits. How's our plastic and batteries going? They should be going nuts now. Oh, of course I turned this off. And of course I need a radar. I can put radars down remotely actually. It doesn't quite work because the, usually when you want a radar somewhere, it's in a place that you can't see. So it's kind of a moot point, but we can put it down close and then that'll release that period. So what is, what is lacking here? We've got a ton of sulfuric acid, batteries, oh God, N, N. All this time, that's why the batteries were just so crappy. All right. They're still so crappy because we only got three machines running them, but uh, let's let's double that. Let's see if I can double that from halfway across the map. I think I can. I think I am just that awesome. Dun, 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 dun. We've definitely got enough sulfuric acid. That stuff's been backing up for ages. Power. Uh, shift in, shift in, shift in. Okay, and now we've got batteries coming out. And they're coming out so slowly, we don't have to worry about balancing the belt. We do have to, however, worry about lights, because we need lights. Okay, up to our batteries. we got plastic coming out the wazoo. Look at this, man. The, I told you we only need one heavy oil cracking thing. Uh, I don't know about light oil. We're still, we're down. We're down a massive amount of light oil. So as soon as this light oil runs out, these machines will start shutting down. And I'm actually going to wait for that because I want to see if my maths was right and that we only need 10 machines. Uh, but I don't know. Capacity bonus for stack inserters. What else do we really need that I really want to get that we should just get here? Uh, accumulators. We're going to wait until we can get the proper advanced solar, which is purple science. So I'm not too worried about them right now. Construction with robots. Uh, can we get power armor? Armor. Modular armor. That requires modules. I would not mind some of the modular armor to start with. So let's get modules. Oh, wait a sec. Modular armor is still only green research. Okay, because these guys introduce all these other research components and they're all a massive pain in the ass and we don't want to worry about those. So let's see, 2.8, 2.7. So we'll just wait for that to crack down and see how many of these actually get used because I actually opened Excel to do the maths for that one and I'll be so disappointed if I got it wrong. I mean, there is a ratio on the on the computer, on the screen, on the on the website, sorry, the Reddit website that says you need 14 of these for 10 of these. And I did the maths and I said, no, I only need nine or 10 for these 10. And I think, I don't know which one's right, but we will find out in just a second. So 1.4, it's really going down fast. These guys really going down fast. Ah. Uh, Oh, we can actually have a look here because we've got fluid production. Um, so what did we say? We're going to be producing 105 light oil per second. It seems like we're not. It seems like we're not. We're producing less, which is weird because 105 was the, yeah, was the calculation for 10 machines and for 14, it would have been even more. So now I'm just even more hopelessly confused. Ah, oh, come on. 
There we go. It's totally running out. Maybe the 14 was just uh, just sort of a always, it'll be beautiful, like sort of covering your ass sort of thing. All right. So we're getting down to 600 and we're getting up to 700 and it's sort of just floozing around a little bit. We can actually run up and we can get rid of those because we don't need the extra tanks anymore. One tank is more than enough because we've copped all of those guys out. Oh, yes, man. Would you believe it? I've been playing this game for like three hours now and the videos from yesterday are still uploading. This is nuts. I think I can go to my ISP and um, get a special deal for business internet, which gives me more upload. It's like Annex M. I think if there are any techies out there who know what Annex M is, but it gives you like double or triple your normal upload for ADSL 2 Plus. So I'm going to try and do that. And then that will be manageable because 100 kilobytes a second is, it, it ain't cutting it right now. It just ain't. So I forgot what I was up here for. Ah, uh, yeah, that's right. An extra one. So this has got 435. So we destroy this and it automatically shoves the extra load into there, which is beautiful. Uh, the petrol is full. I love it when petrol is full. And these guys are all backed up on petrol. So... These guys are going to naturally go down. Because we're backed up on petrol, we're not producing any light oil. So half of these are going to shut down anyway. Which means I can't test my math. <laughs> or what we can do is we're going to put two more on petrol. All of these guys are going to start up. And they're going to run like crazy bastards. And then we will see. So my guess is only 10 get used and... Everybody else on the internet, all the other geniuses, say that we're going to need all 14. So let's see who is right here. Let's see who is right. Come on, get a friggin' move on. These guys need to sort of ramp up again. Ah, what's going on? It's only eight being used, seven being used. That can't be right. What is going on here? Got two of these. No, it's that six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 9, 9 is being used. Oh, I'm feeling a bit better about my maths now because we're barely hitting the 9 one. So that's actually less than I thought, but I didn't really take into account the 1.25. Oh, I did sort of. So anyway, that is beautiful. Did they change these to be 1.25? Because I feel like at some point this ratio was actually correct. Uh, anyway, that's fine. I mean, 105 per second, but these are 1.25 speed. So that does explain it. So it is beautiful. And that does mean I'm pretty sure my maths is correct because you can see they're not using 14 of the damn things. So I'm pretty sure I'm right. And But that's 0 0.14 maths. So maybe something changed. Anyway, we are heading off. And I was going to make this a short episode, but it still ended up taking freaking half an hour because I just take forever and I talk too much. But then again, I'm on YouTube. So that's my job. Not that I get paid for this. Uh, yeah, anyway, moving on. Let's get rid of these. Let's get rid of these. We just chucked away a whole bunch of petrol, but I'm quite sure I won't regret it too much. Uh, we're blocking batteries with the lubricant. It's all good. So anyway, there we go. Thank you very much for watching. And I am done for today because this is like my... What is this? It's like my sixth video, I think. Anyway, I'm done. Thank you. Goodbye.